I hope that you understand what I stated to you right now in respect to females, in respect to the cars. I hope you understand this is a mental illness. I would say this. This house became a hub, intellectual hub for the criminals. I think this is about the best definition that is out there. It became a think hub. It became a Forum 21. Not really, because in the Forum 21, which Milan Kuchan supposedly established, uh, it was actually even people that were on my side, not on his side, even that he was certain that everybody was on his side. <laughs> this is not true. Uh, he established the Forum 21 so that I would turn against everybody who was inside of the Forum 21. And I'm not going to say even a word. But this this house, this where they congregated here, this became a think tank, is what they call in America this. It's called a think tank for the criminals. A think tank for the criminals. Um, when it comes to the women, when it comes to relationship, or males, when it comes to males, uh, this is like you go on a flea market and you go for a bargain and you create yourself your own idea about whatever and then you settle with whomever whatever you get it but the idea about mk ultra when it comes to mk ultra is something completely completely different the same shit is with the cars the best car is the one that you can afford yourself and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're a multi-millionaire or you are somebody who works in a car assembly line or you're jobless or whatever the case might be. The best car is the one that you can afford. If you're going to pay more money, you're going to get a better car, but that's going to be higher maintenance. It's going to be more expensive. The loss, depreciation of the car on the vehicle. You can buy yourself a jet if you can afford yourself. British Royals insisted me they alone cannot afford private jets. I would not buy a private jet. Private jet is for the people who want to go broke. When I'm Ultra, whoever the person is, it doesn't matter whether the person is intellectual, well-educated, or, well, usually they don't target people that are not strong and educated, intellectual people. Because it's not necessary. They all go broke. With MK Ultra, you don't have choice but to go broke. The women that exist in MK Ultra are in it to get the game going. The women that are involved in MK Ultra are in it to misrepresent you. A reality about you. This is why they are in it. They are not in it to for you to um, rendezvous with them. You rendezvous with them in your dreams. Because this woman never comes, sure enough, never come in your real life to you. They never meet you anywhere in real life. They meet you during MK Ultra, like everybody else. And that's where they form this special kind of relationship. Relationship. Otherwise, they don't exist. Beside that, there is no ugly and beautiful woman. In a certain, it's really, the beauty really is in the eyes of beholder. It's women like this, it's women like that, but yeah, I mean, there is alpha males and there is alpha females more appealing than other to majority of the people, whatever. Certain features that the brain looks for. But still, this stuff is all depends on the idea that you form yourself in your head. This here, this, this here, this is the, what I have spoken to you about, I do it like this, if you're in Bosnia, if you're in Croatia, if you're whatever part of the world, today is a war, 
It's not like Alex Jones stated, it's a war on your mind, it's a war on your mind. He was involved in this stuff. This isn't a war on your mind. It's a, ethnic, it's a type of the ethnic cleansing. This is the most efficient warfare that exists out there. It's just that people are not allowed to know even about this warfare. If you acknowledge this warfare, your knowledge is mentally ill by the system that launches this type of warfare in a certain area. This here is the daughter of Jozef Chertalich. Her name is Moitza Chertalich. This is his son. And this is the father, Jozef Chertalich, this here. This is the man I used to work for. See it? And this is his son I used to work for. But still, I used to work for the father on a contract, under the contract. He claimed that I liked Jozef Chertalich during MK Ultra. I liked everybody. I liked everybody. I liked him too. I liked absolutely everybody. And I liked the women. I especially liked the women. That's true. I especially liked the women during MK Ultra. This is one of my favorite women, supposedly, during MK Ultra. Her name is Moitza Chertalic. And I did not like. I liked and I did not like. I liked and I did not like. And so it get tricky. Why the fuck would I like something that... She didn't come in our house. She didn't come in our house. He came to our house all the time with, um, with his wife. She is a Serbian too. Milojka. And um, I was crazy about her and she was crazy about me. And uh, that set him alarm. And that was under the real circumstances because she, was, she continued to take me to work at his location and I would work 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 and as much as she was crazy about me she didn't have to write to ask how is with my salary Slovenian state paid about 150 probably dollars for this guy and his father to keep me employed but for 60 to 80 hours of work yeah they get this what's known as a subvention from the government. For 60, 80 hours of work, I barely got 100 US dollars when I work at his place per month. What that means? That means that he was even stealing, he even ended stealing the money from the country, from the state. And was paying me whatever the fuck he wanted to. For the work that was that he paid to other people considerably, maybe even four times more money at the time, easily, I'm sure, because he wouldn't have any workers if he wouldn't. Same country, same people, Working next to the people from another countries from Serbia, they even imported. The people, some of the people, locals, that didn't have any kind of education, anything. I practically wasted education so that I could get practical part of education confirmed and move on with my fucking life. This is reality about this Chertalic family. But when it comes to reality, why they were allowed to do this kind of stuff? It comes to this picture here. This is a daughter. Actually,
This is the daughter from the from this man. Her name Moitza. And this is what he and the local it's called Zavod za Poslovanje. Zavod za Zaposlovanje. Demanded uh, je boga je Zavod. Employment office in the novel mesto. This is from the government. It belongs to the government. The same like this dude here that you have seen a little earlier, Luca Mesets. This is the guy who is involved. This is a minister for the work, for the social affairs. This so-called leftist, this is what they present themselves as a leftist, a little Hitler. Adolf Hitler was not as evil as he is. This is a little Hitler here. He present himself as a communist. This little Adolf Hitler, I'm sure he loves the comparison with one. This is a minister for a labor, for the family, for the social affairs and equal opportunities, etc. Yes? These people demanded on behalf of this guy here who was totally connected to the Serbia. His wife is Serbian. For me to marry with uh, this here, which actually is an ethnic cleansing. It's ethnic cleansing because I'm Slovenian and I do have the right to, in Slovenia, I do have the right to turn down this type of proposal. Express disconcert with one and nobody has the right to get on my way and demand from me anyways. In, in this case, Slovenia engaged literally in extermination, in ethnic cleansing, in genocide because I did not comply with it. From local employment office, to what became entire world against me, they employed. They employed entire world against me, these criminals here. This girl here, whom I have rejected during MK Ultra, and in real life, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Simple. I wanted to have my life. Believed they will get me destroyed they will eventually get me killed for my turning down this type of proposal. Nobody came to propose me. When I worked in their company, I had never got to see this girl, ever. I instead got to see this girl here. I got to see his wife. I think this is his wife. She is also half Serbian. It doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter. I'm not really sure. Uh, Milojka was. Uh, it must have been his wife. Yeah, this is his wife. Uh, what the problem is with this family here is that I don't know how that is, but. The problem is that his wife looks like his, uh, he's got one more sister. Um, and the names they even have very similar. So this is not very easy, this stuff. Uh, and this is the third sister, is, uh, this is the third one, which also is a sister, is this here, is Moitza. If I got it this right. Yeah, I think I got it right. So it doesn't matter. But this is my age, this girl. And the thing is, these people are multi-millionaires. These are multi-millionaires. They're extremely, extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. 
extremely, extremely wealthy people. You, you can tell that theft really, really pays off. You can see her posing here with Novak Djokovic. This is Serbia. This is as Serbia as it gets. And you know what happened? They started to ask me what the fuck is wrong with me when I literally escaped to save my life to United States of America. For one thing, you motherfuckers, why would I have to escape to the United States of America? You fuckers in America, you fuckheads. Why would I have to escape to America if everything was okay? Here in Slovenia, they wanted to put me inside a home for mentally disabled people, mentally ill people. They wanted to put me inside a home for elderly, for the people with the special needs, lock me and get me killed. I was unemployable because I was mentally ill, is what they claimed. Even that they had no proof for it, I was nowhere listed in a psychiatry or anything. The only way I could get ahead with the jobs was by literally reporting myself as an unemployed and work on the black market as a courier for the pity, for the shit, for free practically, for another individual. It's called the DHL, like a DHL courier using my own car and stuff like this. And this is how I collected a little bit here, a little bit there uh, for the ticket to the United States of America by even selling the car for it. Buy myself ticket and disappear from this shithole at age 23. So that the stabbing, the poisoning ended, practically breaking on my spine ended here in Slovenia. And the only thing they did is they started to compare me with this multimillionaires while I came to the United States of America. They employed, talking about the British royals, psychiatrists, psychologists, Americans, who wanted to know what the fuck was wrong with me because this lady is that she liked me. She liked me. Yeah, it is true. This is this is an this is a, this is a Slavoika. This is a wife, a Slavoika, and then is another one. Um, Miloika is her name. Slavoika, Miloika, whatever. <laughs> they have uh, extraordinary names, and they are beautiful women, in a certain way. During MK Ultra, not only during MK Ultra. I don't know. I just I don't care. I didn't care about if the women appeared to me. His wife appeared to me. I can't help about it. Um, no, we didn't do anything. I didn't have anything with his wife or whatever. I didn't do anything. I didn't do any any kind of stuff like this. We didn't do anything like this. We didn't do any stuff like this. Um, nothing wrong with me. This guy had a hookers. This guy was the one who employed my father also with the hookers. This was the best friend for my father. He had hookers. He had hookers in Ljubljana. He had hookers here in Chantiernay. He had, and I'm not going to say hooker. I'm, I'm being humorous here when I say hookers. I'm not here trying to insult adult entertainment uh, worker or, if you like, even prostitutes. They have to pay. Their bills, most often they're being used. Ladies from disadvantaged circumstances that are struggling out there to make money, whichever way they make money. I'm not to go out there and hurt ladies. This is not what I do. I'm just being humorous about it. I'm being sarcastic about it. Because this motherfucker did have all the money in this world. These people probably worth half a billion dollars. Doesn't mean because you watch my videos that I'm coming from the background that is like, this is the background they created and I refuse to back down. I'm going to back down in front of anybody. This guy was driving nothing other than Mercedes's biggest Volvos. He had a factory with the people employed. They have several factories with the people employed and they also have factories in Serbia. His life 
was the one of the wealthiest people that you see out there. This is not people that would be coming from some kind of disadvantaged or whatever or something. This is luxus, pure luxury, since the Josip Bros Tito who made him through this case, literally. The same shit was with, with his son, Boyan, the same thing. He was a swinger back in his day. You know what it means to swing. He swing and swung throughout Slovenia and throughout the Serbia and throughout whatever, whatever lady opened her legs. I don't know how long he went like this. Probably as long as uh, the wife didn't get pissed off. Maybe she also got some on the side. I don't know what the agreement was between the two. The thing is, he is still married to his old lady. The same thing as it was with the, with the, with the, with the father. The same thing. He, he was married till the end with Melissa is her name. She's from Serbia. But the love was doggy because occasionally he would also get a little bit physical with her if she wouldn't listen. She will also get some slap here and there and appear with a blue eye and stuff like that. I don't know what the fuck I would say about this wife that he has, this Serbian wife, other than kudos to her. This Serbian woman, older woman, new or not, the younger not, and yeah, that's you shouldn't comply with this kind of stuff. But the older generation, ladies from Serbia, they take they took anything man they just how can i say uh, it's like not only they were used to being mistreated but it was like a culture basically to slap your woman to just give her a good slap or a good beating this is just a serbian culture this is the serbian culture this is the way it was and it doesn't matter cuz i'm not here to fix serbian affairs what matters is this year. This year is what matters. What matters here is that they presented me that something is wrong with me because she is a multimillionaire. She is a daughter of this guy and she is in love with me and she wants to marry me. But this shit, as I stated, this stuff went on only during MK Ultra. This did not go in the real world. And MK Ultra is used to portray you, victim, to the people as mentally ill, as sick in the head. And the way the psychiatrists, the fuckheads from United States of America did this stuff with their politician elites, did this so by suggesting one another, interacting in front of you into a schizophrenia. What exactly is schizophrenia? Schizophrenia is what a real schizophrenia is. The real schizophrenia is when the two parties are in agreement and they engage in a conversation in front of the third party with intention to portray him a reality as real, uh, to portray him a lies as real, so that he could see lies, not only he, but in my case, that involved the parents, the family, as some form of reality which actually never fucking existed. Like Americans with the British cried about, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I mean, look at this girl. Like, you really don't like her? And they were showing me pictures in the lap. You really don't like her? Really? No. But I would think about, but I would this, and I would that, and I would out there, fuck I would. Like, one time is not enough, no. It applied to this stuff here. During MK Ultra, His son, Boyan, did not understand anything about... How the fuck he said, how come that you don't like... How come... How come he said... He said, in the picture that I will do, I'm going to leave you the picture... One picture of Yoshi Church is going to be, 
I said, I don't need the fucking picture about him because he's all over the place. Everybody knows him. How come that no, uh, why would you leave me a picture, a profile with his picture on a Facebook? Everybody from the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana, Polje, everybody was involved in MK Ultra, even with their family members. And according to MK Ultra brainwash, have created literally profiles where I would, if I would search to identify them, engage not only in memories, on torture, on exchange, during MK Ultra, but literally would trigger madness in me, rage enough that I would go and post comments under their section in their on their profiles. And what they suggested me, that would trigger us, give us the right to hospitalize you again. This is the Facebook. This is how this stuff was done with the Facebook. And it was done with Americans. It was done with agreement with, I guess this is the way it's done also in the, in the States and in the Britain and in other countries in the world. So he said to me in opportunities, he said to me that you don't like him. I said, you don't like him. Anyways, you don't like him, he said. I said, that's not true. I, uh, uh, I don't like him. But the truth is, I, didn't, I don't like this guy, this fucking guy. What would I like him for? For what? I liked him when I was younger because I didn't know who the fuck this guy was. I even thought that he made the mistakes because he didn't pay me. I thought that we're going to somehow remain friends till it turned out into even more abusive situation once I came back from the United States of America. Then I realized this guy is a fuck. I'm going to continue to keep friends like this around me. I don't, nobody have to worry about me, actually, because I don't even exist. So I told him, no, I do like him. And it was the opportunity he used, therefore, his son Boyan, to suggest others involved in MKUltra. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? He said he likes him. And the other ones was like, yeah, and, uh, but, um, yeah, but he said, he said, but he writes about him such a bad things. So that doesn't make fucking sense. You see, something is wrong with him. So this shit was all about something was wrong with me. And whatever pertained to MK Ultra, this is what I was. And whatever was in the real life, this is what the fuck I was not, is what they claimed. At least this is what they claimed in my face. Even if they claimed nobody. Even if I suppose that they didn't claim to anybody, which they did, because this is based on what the crime was. This is what MK Ultra is based upon. It's nothing other than abuse. It's about blacklisting somebody. Listen to his death. And follow up on him till he's dead. Bur finished. Buried. That's all. The only thing they do is during MK Ultra, they portray victim as mentally ill, that everything is wrong with him, everything is wrong with him, everything is wrong with him. And when it starts the stuff, you're going to usually have person find something, anything, how the MK Ultra works. Okay, the MK Ultra, how the hell it works, what MK Ultra is. Earlier, I stated to you, this guy is worse than Hitler. This guy here, this Luca Messitz, this Minister for Labor, Family, Social Affairs, Equal Opportunities, he definitely is. That comes to me bizarre that this would be somebody who would defend somebody's rights. Definitely is not going to defend my rights. Something like this is fucking unheard of. Definitely is worse than Hitler. But who is Adolf Hitler? Let me ask you, who is Adolf Hitler? Do you know who Adolf Hitler is in my mind? No, Adolf Hitler was in my mind. Adolf Hitler in my mind was, let me explain something. They find something they don't like that you know that they don't like. Because there is no such thing 
what is MK Ultra? The MK Ultra is uh, in Croatian they say izluđivanje, luđenje, izluđivanje, šiženje, šiz, šiz, šiženje, making somebody insane. And so how this stuff is made? Some it's really primitive. They can make you sit and drug you up and make you sit and you're going to have people come in here from there every here and then and they're going to gain you in a terror in your face they're going to death threaten you they're going to do all kinds of stuff terrorize you intimidate you with the issues somebody can go and pull down your pants or somebody can go and laugh in your face because i don't know you have nose or something or your eye is different or whatever or your ear is whatever whatever might be you're going to have a group of people that will do that. They will start to pick on you and you have no way to return. Then they're going to insult you that you're poor, that you're this, that you're that. All the stuff they claim me that I did to them. This is basically the way it starts. And how, what is, what is, why do they do this stuff like this? Well, if you expose somebody for many, many years to this type of practice, <clears throat> Chances are you're never going to kill him because he knows what the fuck you're doing. Then you have to kill him. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. But what they do is, there are different types of MK Ultra. Some types of MK Ultra, there's many, many different types of MK Ultra. Many, many different exist with many, many different goals. So I'm not going to go into it. Some are short-term, some are long-term, some are middle-term, some are designed to trigger violence in one as soon as he would identify somebody uh, or even go plot some terror attack or something like this. There are many, many different types of MK Ultra, where many, many different purposes. Depends how you want to portray the person. If you want to portray the person as mentally ill through the certain symptoms of that mental illness, then you have to follow up with that type of practice against one and that means that you're gonna to have to waste him a lot of time and uh, systematically drive him insane which is i'm sure extremely successful with most of the people unless you're gonna get somebody like myself that will not pay attention to your mk ultra and will continue to go about his life like everything is normal because as long as you live normal the stuff they do to you during MK Ultra, it doesn't have any kind of effect. But because of the stuff they do to you during MK Ultra, they don't want to waste the money they invested in this type of stuff. They will definitely follow up on you. One way or another, you're going to find yourself blocked from employment, forced unemployment. This is a forced unemployment becomes permanent, systematically increased into complete forced unemployment. And sooner than not, you're going to run into through the psychiatric issues, into the issues which, well, they're going to make you or they're going to break you. Either you're going to stand up and attack them, or you will simply comply and you're going to start eating pills and fade away, basically, without any kind of fight, without any resistance. That depends on the person. Some people are psychologically uh, more resistible, more resisting, and others are less. Some people will fall apart already when they think about what uh, psychiatry is. Some people will fall apart already when they give them a resignation, when they have to sign a resignation from work, where they fire them or whatever. It's different type of people. It's different kind of issues that are involving this stuff. And some people will just choose that will not comply and will start doing the stuff that, you know, complains like I did without even mentioning MK Ultra. And since that did not work and they pushed psychiatry against me, then I started to go literally after the psychiatrists, after the police that was involved in this and so on. Chances are that once they get uh, with a psychiatry against one, that you will no longer go after anybody. Well, when they did this to me, I unleashed hell. 
that's when it was no longer about force unemployment. It was no longer about what the employers did to me, what went on. This is where money didn't even matter anymore to the degree that I would ignore torture, which went on during MKUltra. That's when I returned back with the psychiatry. I returned psychiatry back with the psychiatry. It depends on the people. But here the point is that the point is that every person, every individual in this situation that's called MKUltra in this extermination procedure for what it is, is going to be forced to face with the issues which I mentioned earlier. Picking on you, insulting you. Uh, these are just the ways to create what in the United States of America refer to as a rebel. They call this a rebel. It's a rebel. Rebel by the heart. I'm a rebel. Did you ever thought about what fucking rebel is? It's a very negative word. It's a very, very negative because it immediately places you, for one thing I'm going to say to you, you're a perpetrator as soon as you're a rebel. Why the fuck are you a rebel? You have to ask yourself, why would you be a rebel? Why would you be a rebel? Rebel, the word definition, the word rebel from the psychiatrist, from the psychiatric point of view, is a term that is used to supplement crime which is taken against somebody uh, with idea that uh, basically crime that is taking place, genocide that is taking place, injustice that is taking place against one, it's used, it's a term that is used to substitute one in his head with idea that uh, he should be seeing himself as uh, naughty, as, uh, you know, like a rebel, a rebellion, non-compliant. Well, you know, um, nobody should be compliant about genocide. And even less, whoever is exposed to the genocide should regard himself as a rebel. You're not a rebel. You have a constitution that protects you from your country. You have United Nations constitution. Here in Europe, you have European Union rights are covered by the Human Rights Court in Strasbourg, even that Brussels Parliament claims is not. But we have ombudsman and so on. There are many, many, many statutes in this world that protects you from being rebel. You not rebel if you go to the factory and they do something to you or throw you on the street or whatever they do and somebody runs you over deliberately and you pick up and you go and somebody punches you and you go and the same thing repeat throughout your life you're not a rebel you're not a rebel you have to ask yourself what the fuck goes on here you have to make the individual the person the people that they use in your element talking about the psychiatrists who use people like this to suggest you some kind of a rebellion, rebel attitude. Like I see this in the US all the time, rebel, rebel, rebel. What the fuck rebel? What kind of rebel? There is no rebel. In reality, you're going to realize when you, when you watch this program, there is no rebel. There is equal employment opportunity office. And you're going to get maybe good people. Maybe you're going to get criminals over there. It's FBI. It's the same thing. It's CIA. It's the same thing. The fact of the matter is that you have the right, whoever you are, to pursue your lawsuits, your suits, your claims against whatever party. And if that third party that you regarded addressed this issue with, whether that be a police or FBI or equal employment opportunity, whatever it might be, doesn't matter, act against you, it's your duty actually not your you might do this like you hear oftentimes you might go you might file a complaint you might do this it's your duty it's your job when they tell you this kind of stuff that you can go and you you might you might do this or you might do that you can correct them you can say i might not it's actually my job you tell them like your job wearing the badge, like your job doing this stuff. It's my job. It's my job to contact your superiors. It's my job to contact your 
your state attorney. It's my job to take you to the Supreme Court. It's my job to do this. That's why I asked. It's my job to do these things. It's not about my or this or that. I'm talking about my job here. Your job is to stay alive to protect your basic rights. Existence. Not a rebel, not about the rebellion, about being rebel and so on. This is not what life is about, a rebel. It's not about rebel. This is the attitude that's being used at large to substitute your self-awareness about, I'm not going to say about your rights, but your existence with something that is like a nuisance, like we're going to be a rebels today. Rebel is also used a term. It's a dirty term that's also used to push people into politics, basically away, further away, whether that be left or right, away from their course, from their main course, as it should be from their charter, from the claim, from prosecuting the party which committed the crime. And when you do this stuff, trust me, you're going to have all kinds of interference coming from all the sides. Don't turn into Donald Trump supporter or Joe Biden supporter when that happens. Or wherever fucking supporter. Don't go political. Stay your course and do your stuff. Don't become a rebel. That's how they get ahead of the game. That's how they delete people. That's how people get deleted. There are different stages of this stuff. With the conscience that you develop, this kind of stages they start to pop up. And they do all kinds of stuff. It's, they call them a defense mechanisms. They call them in the U.S. Congress. But in the U.S. Congress, they all work together. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican or whatever. They're all in agreement when it comes to the stalking, blacklisting people, listing people as good as dead. It's in every country the same thing. They are all in agreement with these issues. Talking about MKL, we're talking about MKUltra here. Whenever MKUltra is in question, you're going to be the best off if you listen to what I say. The politic, that is something completely different. A rebel and that kind of stuff doesn't come in question. That's not, that's a nonsense. What you want to do is you want to take care of yourself, you want to take care of your problem and go about it. Adolf Hitler is what the people like this hated the most, at least visibly. But who is Adolf Hitler? Do you know who? my case and I, when I say my case because this is what I started earlier we started with this topic earlier it's why this is what I'm doing so the people around the world can understand Adolf Hitler is like a universal evil universal evil is very dangerous issue because of the same issue that I triggered earlier I triggered earlier about the women I triggered earlier about the issue about the social issues such as money, you know, cars, what you can afford. I mentioned you earlier, Jack Ma from AliExpress. You must settle for this kind of lady and this and that. Okay? Or there will be nothing. You pass exam. You like this ladies. Yeah, but now you have to settle for this. Okay? These are the mental illnesses they invent if you get ever subjected to MK Ultra to keep you as far away from you as far as they possibly can. Because there's one thing they don't want. They don't want you to become aware of what universal evil is. It's the curse, it's the type of curse that will involve the entire world against you. And it will be more difficult for you to defend yourself against. A little earlier, I video recorded. I don't know. I think this girl has like 2,600 friends. Let me see how many this she has. That's a lot of friends, 2,600. And I even feel sorry for her. No, 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 no. I am a, I'm a fair person. Listen, I'm a very fair person. Uh, it doesn't tell here. Let's see this here. I'm a fair person. I'm a very nice person. 2,000 friends. There you go. I recorded 2,000 friends 
video recorded 2000 something friends from her every one of them with their families were involved in MKUltra is why I have the reason why I don't care about people what people do on the internet whoever whatever this is 2300 if only these people would be involved in it here in Slovenia it's a big deal it's a really really big deal um, For a moment, I got really, really confused with the whole thing. For a moment, I got really, 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 really confused. Um, I got confused with this stuff because I didn't know who she is. And I see this girl here. Her name is Anya Chertalic. That's a daughter. But daughter from Boyan, from what I know. I didn't meet these people other than during MK Ultra. Isn't that crazy? They are from the same city as I am. Uh, I spent a lot of time next to him when I was young, since grammar school, and especially next to him because of the fishing that we went together. Father liked fishing, but Boyan didn't like fishing. And this one was in the picture. And uh, um, I'm never going to forget when she found the karma against me. She got married here. I think I'm not going to say anything, but that's supposed to be from another guy who was involved in MK Ultra, father, Springer, son. Uh, but it's interesting because this guy gave me he told me, don't ever say anything against uh, Serbia or something. I will make sure that we get married. That you see this thing here, the church, the Serbia, whatever. Probably this is Slovenian or whatever it is. But they had me during the marriage, uh, matrimony over there. And they suggested that that's how I should view them. I should fear them. I should be afraid of them. I'm just saying, because this is hilarious, actually. Let's close this stuff. Um, I got confused. I didn't know what to think about it because I went through her profile, you know. And as I did go through her profile and I saw these photos here that she has. And everywhere I went, I see her all by herself. The more the hell I look, everywhere I see her by herself. During MK Ultra, he didn't like me. And I didn't like him. He would take me all the way to Kran, to other parts, Slovenia, where he would be looking for uh, either the Serbs or to engage in a sexual relationship with whomever, Slovenian party, whom he would also compensate and demand then torture from them. But mostly, he in charge himself will find me a spouse here in Slovenia since I did not go for his sister, Moica Čertalic. Yes, so beatings, violence, unprecedented next to him, next to his swinging stuff. And I'm being 100% certain, will find me a Serbian wife in Slovenia. Yeah, that's how we're going to do a little bit. Mindführer, hi, hi, Hitler hair. Milosevic business we're gonna do it like this yeah uh, when Slovenia got into the war these people sided with Milosevic and I started to call them Milosevic all of them I started to refer to them I finished my stuff with them I didn't want to have anything to do with them I started to regard them as Milosevic I didn't want to have nothing to do with Milosevic here inside of the house Vozi simple as this you don't like it in Slovenia, get the fuck out. Go wherever the fuck you came from. If you feel that this is not your home, if you feel that Serbian tanks should come here, just as today is in Ukraine, vozi odavde, gubi se odavde. You got nothing to look here for. Simple. Instead of that, Slovenia went and started to support them. And so it went. This relationship went down the water, boarded the plane, went to United States of America, 
and really strange. Strange stuff. She promised me I am kaput, dead, whatever you want. Um, she got married in, in between. It's kind of a funny because I see here, I see here Moica Čertelic and I see here Moica Čertelic. Well, I think here was Moica and it was another name. And I think that name, that last name, which now is the same, yes, I don't know what's the point about that. Maybe there is a point about this, I don't know. Um, but I see here this boy here, is what I see. And I think eventually that this is her son here, this kid here. And his last name is Andolchuk. Well, I think this is what the name was up there first. But when I went through here, and that's interesting, and it's really, really interesting. I really got confused because he still didn't like me during MK Ultra. But what was interesting, what was sort of funny, she did, the women did, and she did somehow. Uh, actually, it made me feel really, really strange because I was even asking her because she changed over the course of years. She changed. She facially very, very, very changed. Uh, I would not even really, during MK Ultra, I would not even recognize her. That's how much she changed. Uh, she became so nice. This was the worst thing about MK Ultra was that she became totally, totally unrecognizable during MK Ultra because of being nice. And so, if I go back to Adolf Hitler, who is the Adolf Hitler? That Adolf Hitler is universal, just as I have suggested. And the universal evil is whatever country you're around the world, the psychiatrists are going to look for so they can, through torture, associate themselves against you with the rest of the world. Because they're going to try to pull the whole world against you. So what that means, they look, always they look for universal evil. Universal evil are, it can be women, universal evil can be men. The universal evil can be anything that you would use in average person that would not appeal to average person your views. And so they try to create out of me a communist. Then they try to create out of me um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, absolutely a Nazi but there is worse in this world than Nazi you would be surprised a person that is just vicious money oriented uh, completely they presented me like somebody totally totally not concerned for other people's problems like bastard like unbelievable son of a bitch that I am, that was not of interest, absolutely anything in this world. How the hell they do this? This is a very easy thing to do. When you don't have nothing in your life other than three by three prison room, on a big fucking property, yeah, that's all I had. That's all I ever had. It's not a difficult thing to do. Because you give the impression that you live like a Carrington, like somebody who is Donald Trump or somebody, some billionaire on the property. With people that are involved in this stuff, showing no interest in acknowledging the truth. And pulling the rest of the world, ensuring the rest of the world, don't worry about, it's all fine, we got it all covered. This and this is basically how this fable looks like. So they bring you to Africa and you say, fuck you. And yeah, after, I don't know, 40, 30 years of torture, I don't know what kind of torture you don't want to hear about the fucking problems anymore. Uh, you, you go to Asia and you also don't want to hear. You don't want to hear who's going to build himself the third and fourth home and buy himself a Mercedes. And, you know, you become recognized as a universal evil yourself before you know. You become recognized as worse than Hitler, but at the same time, they still cannot do without you.
because you're lucrative, you are a trade, you are a commodity through which the people still get to earn money. Before you know, you yourself become universal evil. You are, you are just insensitive. Yeah, of course, you're worth half a trillion dollar at least, according to MK Ultra. But you don't have other than three by three meter prison. And you don't even get $10 a month salary. As difficult as it was in Poland with the 17 euros per month in asylum inside, it was the first time after eight years that I was capable to actually go and buy myself things that I wanted, even that it was not like this, but I still got to buy myself away from the environment that I was things the way I want, organize myself like the way I want. And that was with the 17 euros per month in the pocket. I know that would be horrible to you, right? For me, in a certain way, I felt liberated. It was a freedom, some kind, temporary, whatever it was, climbing on the roofs, cleaning the leaves for the people, whatever the fuck you do. I was away from the psychiatric terror in Slovenia. This is the way it works. This is, this is the way this stuff is. This is the way they do it. These people have no conscience. They have no soul. They have no, there, there is nothing. When it comes to ethnic cleansing, the goal is very, very clear. The goal is to murder people, to clean people kill people so they can make place for another person they can move into the house and the property build other homes and make sure that there is no trace of you that you never existed and they start to cover the trace about your existence from your birthday and have immediately they put the net of the people around you the friends and make sure that like you never fucking existed the friends of friends during MK Ultra because the friends must be there to ensure that there is something that's going for your benefit in case ever something would come out about you. In case you ever would have some kind of chance, the state would use some kind of recordings, something to prove that you know, we did some kind of job. There was somebody in the country who cared actually about you and you were not completely on your own. But that not, that's not a necessary true. In fact, that is not true at all. In my case, this was not the truth for 52 years. So I know that what I stated is true. I know that in Slovenia there is no opposition. I know that in Slovenia is only Milan Kuchan. Because you have proven me. They've proven me. For 52 years, I got this proof on the table. That's how it works. Now, when we clarified what universal evil is and what exactly the psychiatrists look for, is one important thing that I mentioned. The way this stuff is done is through the torture. Uh, through what they are not even hiding, ethnic cleansing, the truth about what they are doing to you, till you actually start to do the same thing. And that's what MKR Trade is. This last definition that I stated is what MKR Trade is. Like, for instance, let me know. this lady, what do you see on this lady here? This lady is, uh, she is good. Honestly, and I know the ladies are not going to be angry with me. I'm going to try to be a little bit humorous. Don't be sensitive to it. She's got a good look. Tits. Uh, she's a blondish. She looks uh, nice, smiley, uh, nice chick. This. Uh, she is not fat. She's not too slim. Um, looks good. Looks good. If you would go, if you would take your car to the technical inspection, 
she would pass she would, you would say okay i give you the stamp uh you passed examination uh, but because 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 let me just find something on her because when it's so much violence present and you keep taking violence and you keep taking shit you too have to find something to defend yourself and so i'm going to try to find what i whatever i find it on her to start to put her down like the way she put me down with her parents the way they did then i started to beat them down too let me see this let me see this crown here i don't know what it is uh, i just found something that uh with the ice or whatever uh that i started to use to protect myself to reject basically and compare that with the uh, serps and started to beat down use this for my personal defense to to make it clear that whatever they are picking on me they can feel the same thing the same kind of claws on themselves this is the that stuff that I definition of MK Ultra is exactly this thing. This is exactly what they are looking for to develop in an individual. It's what they also regard that as a rebel and so on. It's not rebel. This is not about being rebel. This is just a technique that is used for the person who is subjected to the torture to survive. If the person is not capable to develop this type of technique, and follow up on one uh, whenever they start to fuck with him that person is dead because they do not care about you even settling for whatever they have to offer they don't care because in my life just as i stated i never met her other than during mk ultra that's about the only time i would interact with her so their goal is to create certain personalities, certain symptom on you during MKUltra, which would suggest to the world there is something wrong with you, that you reject people based on certain issues, and moreover, that you are choosy, that you keep choosing and choosing and choosing, and nothing is good for you, and the time go by, years go by. You get it? This is what they are looking for under mk ultra this is what mk ultra is this is probably the best definition about mk ultra it's a bullying it's a harassment it's a torture it's all based on real torture uh there is a lot of other stuff that goes on parallel to it but the definition of it is exactly what i stated she was the one who started all this but it was all the companies in the area all the companies in the area here in slovenia that engaged in so much violence against me that finally after maybe 20 years of this war of this violence with other companies from the area i started to again see myself in these people and it's just as i stated earlier i even forgot who she was I no longer could identify her during MK Ultra who she was, and I started to like her. Oh, blonde and nice. Oh, look, he's round. Uh, is like I said earlier, this one definitely passed the technical examination. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. People who started this violence, people who started this stuff, this Chertelich family, on behalf of Belgrade, on behalf of ethnic cleansing they became actually over the course of years due to so much torture unrecognizable unrecognizable so i you know this is i think this is good enough right the definition about how this stuff is done unrecognizable due to frustration due to so much torture from other companies they do the metal working these people do metal working this was the founder was joža Črtalić, and this is his son bojan Črtalić. and um what happened with him is he became a really family man he became a very nice family man because it was she 
who will find out about his escapades. And then what had happened when it all surfaced on the surface, uh, I think that his life started to spin like on a roller coaster because it was his uh, son, his daughter, uh, the family that learned about his uh, swinging business. And that's when the roller coaster started to spin faster and faster with the psychiatrists that started to appear in the picture. Uh, the Serbs couldn't even help. <laughs> that's a funny stuff. And uh, he started to have to behave himself uh, either like this or he could get Kukar Sarača zmehnim kladilčkom po glavi with a little hammer in his forehead. And then you don't know, You're like my father. Then you wake up on a bed and uh, you don't know where you are. They definitely fixed my father. Definitely they fixed my father. Uh, this is basically the way it works. This is, this is how it functions. This is how this stuff goes. That, that's basically... Uh, that's... that's um, um, that's exactly how it works. Under his profile, you're not going to even find any Serbs, barely if you're going to find any. <laughs> you're going to find some international people, uh, even Nicholas Lindquist and Peter Larson and so on, you're going to find uh, is professional when it comes to the politics. Is professional. He's so professional when it comes to politics, it's unbelievable. He knows how to hide his identity online. That's There is no doubt about that. And it's very, very appealing. It's very nice, very wonderful. Uh, but this here, this is the reality. This is the reality about MK Ultra. This is the way it works. You will not even find the picture here when you go through over her profile. This is what actually seated me on the ass when I went over the profile a little earlier. And I did not know why the fuck I didn't marry her. I see here this boy here, uh, which, which is a son. 2010, look at him. He is already a big man now. And uh, I was thinking about... Actually, I said to myself, what the fuck was wrong with me for not going after this? Uh, the thing is that the ethnic cleansing, I'm not a friend of one. I know what the fuck I have gone through in Yugoslavia. I'm the one who broke the Yugoslavia down. I'm the one who hammered nose to the Soviet Union. And I am just, because of what I have gone through, because of what was done to me, truly, truly, truly proud about my identity. And I am not going the halfway. I am the one who's going to go, who's going to live the life, who lives the life all the fucking way. I am proud about myself, about the stuff I did, because they wanted to exterminate me since I was a child, since I was a baby. Soviet Union and Yugoslavia have fallen apart because of what people have observed the Serbs were doing with me. Something that Serbs were doing all along, the Russians were doing all along throughout the Soviet Union to others, because of me. At one year of age, became only one thing to the people. It became evident. It became evident to the people because people become oblivious. They do not grasp their surroundings when the stuff like this is happening, when you're doing this to adult people. But if you start doing this to the baby and people watch, then people learn that this is where the power was. Something is not okay. That's something that happened to the uncle that was 30, 40 years old, or to the aunt, or whomever, or a cousin who was 20 or 25, or a 50 years old father, or whatever. 
when he got killed, when he was sent to Siberia, when he was sent to the island, to whatever prison, that something is just not right. Because, you know, the babies are not that evil when they are born. The newborns are not that fucking evil. They come to the world and they just go and do. So when you do the stuff like this, you are actually really somebody. When people start to see yourself in you and they grow up next to you and they grow old watching you growing into a young man and they get the energy that is unbelievable energy that brings in the picture commitment that they are not going to be part of the system like this. That's when you are really worth something in this world. This is what I am. This is what I was. And I wasn't going to lose my identity over some family that is wealthy and everything that was going to use me to bring this picture back on the picture. I even would do this kind of stuff, but there is one thing not about me. My father was stealing money from me, even those $100 that I made every month. He wanted to get the money from me to, for me to pay him for electricity and I don't know what the fuck. And the site, during MK Ultra, he suggested me that Chertalich actually, instead of paying me money, is giving him money in a form of material and work on his property, this little castle that he created for himself, where he expected me to pick up the apples from the trees, from the grass. And the branches which King Savo Ausitz believed I would be the type of stuff I would be doing like a mentally a retarded person. Because this is how he treated me. The type of agreement he had with the system and the way he wanted to be seen, laughing in my face, comparing me with a complete idiot, with an animal, in front of his friends, humiliating me as an adult, it was something that did not appeal to me. I, didn't want, I, wanna, I wasn't going to spend my life in a shadow of one meter, 60 centimeter tall, impotent guy that was so impotent that barely stood up on his feet. Some kind of a pervert that is going to be laughing in my face. Make fun of me for the glory of Serbia, of the greater Serbia, which these people are going to bring back on the picture literally through this kind of issues, acknowledge me throughout the world as a, somebody who is mentally ill, not normal, with whom everything is wrong with me. This is who she is. This is who she is. And so these pictures, this is interesting because everywhere you're going to go, you're going to see her pose by herself. Red Ferrari, whatever, you're going to see her with the man. Everything cool. But based on these pictures, everything cool, but based on these pictures, uh, this lady is like available. Gentlemen, I'm not going to say, oh, okay, maybe ladies, I don't know. Uh, she is ready to mate free, young, full of money. Now, that's the kind of stuff you don't fucking bring on my picture ever. Don't you ever dare to do the stuff like this. In America, that's wow. In my country, where I am coming from, in my world, that's a no-no. Uh, how is that a no-no? That is a no-no, because when you steal the money from me in a form the way I described, in a form the fuck I described, that I'll go and work for you 60, 80 hours, and you're going to even steal from me state subventioned money, so that you're going to portray yourself like somebody who is wealthy, financially strong, powerful Serbian, on whom I depend and should be grateful to see myself like some kind of a social handout recipient, that doesn't work in my country. And my country is not Slovenia. 
this is almost like a country within the country here because of this shithole known as Slovenia that would did to me. Just as I stated earlier, I would go and vote. It's no longer about, I don't know who the fuck I would vote for. I don't even have anybody to vote for. It's about what for should I vote for? For what? It's now different. So yes, you're going to have this, but you're never ever going to accomplish something that you're going to put me on a picture next to you, like your telephone or like your handbag. You're never going to fucking do this. It was a nice try, but it's going to end up bad. These are the main people from the city of the Novo Mesto because of whom extermination procedure took place. And yes, I do remember. Yes, I do remember. I don't care about no fucking red Ferrari, you know? I don't care about it. I think I'm extremely capable, extremely intelligent, extremely strong. For five people a strong person. That things have taken a really, really bad turn. But that doesn't mean that this is what will decide about my life anyways. I'm just different. It's different here in this country. In my country, it's different. We take it differently. And we also have Ministry for Interior, for the foreign relations, for the work, for the social justice, for all kinds of fuck that you talk, that you have, that you have ministers and all kinds of payats and clowns, whatever you present to the public. Because to me, you are nothing other than clowns. I got it all sorted out. I can tell you. And you can tell. My mind is straight. I got it straightened out. But you are going sideways. Pigs fly sideways. I do not. That's how that is. I almost mistaken. I almost mistaken her. Somebody. Because she was so. During MK Archer. She was so. Um, so helpful. In the late stages, it became so helpful that I was not even, I didn't even get any more who the fuck she is. I, I asked her, who are you? You're so nice, you know. I said, what about you? I started to ask her, what about you? You're so nice, you know. How about you? Would you be my wife? You're so nice and so on, you know. And she was giggling and laughing and, and stuff like this, you know. Uh, no, man. Uh, these people have done not a fear, share of damage. They, they involved all the employees in a physical torture, in a very heavy torture, and they attempted to, to create a coup d'etat in the country, and they really prided themselves with making people poisoned, creating a toxic situations. Uh, one of the employees that was involved in this stuff was Peter Bukovic. It looks like this. That's his last name. In English, you would say Peter, Peter Bukovic. Uh, no, he's retired. He is just a retired man. And this was the main guy from this guy here. This was the guy who worked, they call this like a Meister. The boss, the one who run his little company for him while he was doing his stuff, like I mentioned earlier. Wonderful life, wonderful, absolutely wonderful, everything wonderful. Uh, and so, this guy, and this is what the Slovenian police will confirm this stuff. This year, Peter Bukovic. And this name here, Tatiana Prokšel. You see this here? This is what you're going to do for me. This is, what, this is what Ministry of Justice of Slovenia 
actually ministry this is what the what my ministry of justice will demand from slovenia this here you will recognize personal friendship this here this is what fuck you up no republika chetnishka here no serbian chetniks here none i will explain to you how it is zero nema you see this here this is what you're going to confirm personal friendship personal relationship you shouldn't put the nose in it because it was none of your business i believe that she used him because this guy was a, such a parasite that it's impossible to explain uh the damage this individual caused to me it's impossible to explain and he even end up campaigning for her it turned out the whole picture to be so fucking ugly that you're gonna learn what the fuck it means to be persecuted by, by my ministry of justice by my police investigated by my departments going in your ass you're gonna see how the fuck that looks like you're gonna see what it means to be delusional because i just don't take i don't take for granted i don't go the ethnic cleansing this is this is not what i do i don't it's not acceptable other hitler in this case is irreplaceable it's a universal evil there are many different other universal evils look for yours to understand what they are trying to do to you if you are subjected to mk ultra god bless you all whatever you are take care of yourself till next time if you will want to survive you will literally have to develop all this shit here that you that you read about this stuff here you will literally have to develop your labor family social affairs equal opportunities business in your head even if it doesn't exist anywhere it will have to exist in your head everything whatever ministry exists out there the countries have you're gonna be the best off in your head if you're gonna have your own ministry justice whatever you have you're dealing with whatever type of crime you're dealing with is the same shit like you're running your private business when you are fighting against mk ultra it's exactly identical thing like you're running your own business you're gonna have to employ different issues even if you don't have them to stand up to get up to get in their face to smash them on every step of the way like they do it to you because this is the nature of mk ultra this is how it works that's how that's precisely how it works